Hello, Chris Kiak here, and I'm in Tecla Structures, and I'm back in version 2022. And I'm gonna show you a speed improvement that has been released with version 2024, but I had to go back to an older version so you can see the difference here. Now, I have a role uh, that is set up beyond just the Imperial uh, Steel Detailing role uh, for the USA environment. So I have my own custom role that's got some customized settings in it, and I also have a firm folder set up here on my hard drive. And if it was on a server, it would be even worse as far as loading speed of dialog boxes. And um, basically what I'm trying to showcase here is that uh, some of the new drawing properties and view properties dialog boxes were terribly slow in trying to search all of the folder paths in Tecla to load up file names for the attributes in the dropdowns at the top of the dialog box. So what do I mean by that? If I double click on the background, Okay, look at that, that wasn't too bad. That didn't take too long to open up there, but essentially it's reading through all the search path to find all of these save settings. Now, here's where the challenge came in. If I would actually select on this rule, uh, the first thing is that whenever you click on these rules uh, to go to edit the view properties, because a dropdown is being activated here, what'll happen is if I press this view properties button, I have to press it twice, look at that. Look at that, it almost took three or four seconds. And that is all running on my local hard drive, which I have a pretty fast computer. Now, just imagine doing that on a computer that has a firm folder that is on a network drive, or even worse, the model is on a network drive and you're opening and saving the model from a network drive folder instead of your local uh, C drive. Now, let me just show you again. So another way of doing this is if I just double click on the gray border, that'll take one, two, three, four. Okay, so about four seconds just to load a dialog box. And if you're coming from pre-version 2022 to this, this feels very painful from a productivity point of view. So what's happening here is that if you go to each of these different uh, tree uh, branches here in the tree view, what's happening is it's reading through the directory to load up any of these save settings on each one of these uh, tabs or tree branches here. And so what that is doing is that every time this dialog box is loading up, it's reading multiple times through every single one of those search paths and trying to load those settings, including the main view properties here at the top. And so this was uh, what it was causing because of all those additional search paths and sometimes things being on a server like your firm folder or the model being on the server and looking in your model attributes folder, this was causing this dialog box to take a while to open up. So now let me open up this same exact model, same firm folder, same role and everything. And I'm going to open this up in version 2024. Okay, so same drawing and uh, same model, but in version 2024. So if I double click on the background, okay, that's actually a little bit faster to open up the properties, but let's go over here to the view properties. So I'm going to select this. It looks like they haven't fixed uh, quite uh, when you're activated in there, but uh, that's okay. I'll just press this one, two, three, four. Now look, it's still initially slow. So that first open up is a little bit painful, but watch this. If I close this down and then I just go back to view properties, boom, it caches all of that information now. So it's remembering that and it looks really, really good and really fast and very responsive. Now, let me just go see what happens if I actually go to this view properties uh, through a different methodology of activating it. And that's even faster too on the property pane. But let me just double click. Oh yeah, that look at that. That is so awesome. I am easily pleased. That is great. That feels just like the old fashioned uh, view properties and drawing properties dialog boxes where things open up very quickly. Um, so again, let me just click on this, press view properties. That looks great. What an amazing, awesome improvement. Uh, thanks, Tecla, for listening to customers on this one. That looks really good. All right, now I rolled back into version 2022 and I'm in Service Pack 12. So one of the latest and final service packs for that version. And um, there used to be a problem as well with the property panes being very slow. So watch, if I click on this rafter, one, two, yeah, so maybe two or three seconds to open that up, not too bad. But again, if this was on a server, it'd be really bad. But look at this, it looks like that they've rolled this back to the older versions. Um, Cause I have a, uh, I just, if my memory serves, every time I would click on something, it would be really painful. Or if you group selected stuff, it would be really, really, really slow. And so like if I came in here, um, you know, now it's like really fast. See, look at that, it's caching column for the first time, but look, when I go back to beam, it goes really fast. Go back to column, the properties are like kind of cached and remembered. Now watch, if I go to contour plate, it's gonna take a few seconds, but then it remembers that. Steel beam, column, contour plate, really fast. So this looks like it's been rolled back. The improvement on the drawing properties wasn't rolled back into 2022, but uh, at least from what I've seen here in this service pack, but uh, definitely the property panes have also seen some speed improvements as well. So this is just, again, really great to see this type of stuff. 
These are the everyday things that you as a user, uh, you get frustrated with when you're just trying to get through Tecla and, and uh, you know get your detailing done and you get mechanically really fast in Tecla. And then when the UI and the user interface isn't responding to you and you're kind of being held up by the software, it feels really frustrating. So when I see Tecla, you know, really focus on this sort of stuff and then they release these kind of improvements, um, this just really makes a difference to the everyday user. Awesome stuff.